Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about how to increase partition size in Windows 11. In this video, we're going to talk about a third party tool that we can use. I'm sure that many of you know about it. It's called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It's a free piece of software that we can use and it has a lot of options regarding partition management, hard drive or SSD management. In this video, we're going to use this software to increase our partition in Windows 11, our system partition. But also, I'm going to show you a few other things and a few other options that you have in this software. As I said, you can download this for free from the partitionwizard.com website. Just go ahead and click on the link below and you can download now the free version that will help you do a lot of partition management stuff. And of course, if you want to go pro, you'll have access to different features. I've installed the software myself on the computer, of course, and let's open it up. Now, maybe you're asking why would I use a different application or a third party tool for increasing the size of my partition in Windows 11 when I can simply use the disk management from Windows 11 that is by default. Well, sometimes in Windows, when you're trying to increase the size of your Windows partition, for example, you could face some issues, some errors, because Windows is very strict with the system partition and it tries to protect it a lot. So if you don't want to have any restrictions and you want to increase or decrease the size, of course, within some limits, because you still need the space for the operating system, you can use softwares like this, Mini Tool Partition Wizard, and you can do that easily. Another great thing about this app is that you can increase the size of a certain partition without even having any free space. You can just take out space from another partition, which we're going to do in this video. So this is how the software looks. As you can see, we have here our disks. Of course, on this computer, I have only one disk. And here in the disk, you can see all the volumes. We have FAT32, other NTFS. Basically, these three are for recovery and other purposes. And these are our two main partitions, which is the C and the E partition. What we want to do in this video is to take out space from the E partition and use it on our C partition because we want to install a game or something on our C partition. If we right click on the C partition, you're going to see that we have a whole bunch of options, which we're going to talk about briefly in this video, but we are interested in the extend feature. The extend feature will help us increase the space in the C partition. So we're just going to click on it. And here you're going to see that we have a question here. How much free space do you want to take? And it basically says that the new size of this partition will be 93 gigabytes and the new size of the other partition, which we'll be taking space from, will be 16 gigabytes. So we can even take, let's say, 20 gigabytes. And of course, up here, you can select where to take space from. Just click on OK and then click on Apply. Note, the app strongly recommends you close all other applications before apply the pending changes. Of course, we're doing changes to the system partition. So we would recommend this to be done without any other apps open. And then we're going to have to click on Yes. And the process of extending our C partition or our OS partition will start. As you can see, it will start copying data, resizing the partition and so on. So basically, this is a very safe method to do this process. As I've said, in Windows, we are sometimes very limited with this process. So this is really nice that we are managing to do this really easily. Of course, the software shows us now the new dimensions, but let's also check them out in this PC. As you can see, we have the new partition with the size that we needed and also the other partition that was shrinked in order to gain space on the C partition. Of course, the software has a lot of other options. So for example, if you click on move slash resize, you'll be able to enter a new partition size and specify the location of the selected partition. And you can do all kinds of editing and interesting processes with partitions. So that's why I think Minitool Partition Wizard is one of the best third party software that you can use in order to be able to do advanced partition management. And of course, you have a lot of options. You have certain options that you can use in order to customize your partitions. So for example, you can use a data recovery option for Format, delete, move, slash, resize, extend, merge. So, for example, if we would want to merge the C partition to the E partition, we can do that. We can split, of course, we can change the cluster size, copy, label, align, check file system, convert NTFS to FAT, change serial number, change partition type ID, wipe partition, and also properties about the partition. And as I've said up top, you have a whole bunch of other options. So, for example, you have a dedicated data recovery section, partition recovery, disk benchmark to see what's the health of your your disk and also you have space analyzer and if you click on scan the software will start analyzing the space on your system and you will be able to have an idea of what is occupying your space on your operating system that's really really nice and after a process that depends of course on your disk usage and space you'll be able to see what takes out the space on your system and of course you have also the option biddable media which will help you create a winpe based media with mini tool plugin this can also be really
really, really useful. As I've said in the description below, you have links to this software that you can try for free and see if it's useful enough for you. But as I've said, my opinion is that Minitool Partition Wizard is one of the best third-party tools that you can use in order to manage partitions with more advanced options. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.